The summer of 1993 was quite difficult for one 14-year-old Lamont Dorsey Moi. That was the summer where puberty set in. Now, I was a young strapping lad of 13 years old, and the summer came by like a whirlwind, and all of a sudden I was 14. And in that year, I discovered girls. Well, I discovered girls before that, but you know, I'm getting older. I'm in the eighth grade now. I gotta act my age. And you start hanging around with different crowds, you know, the cooler kids or what have you. But little did any of my friends know at the time that I always had to be at home around 4.30, 5 o'clock because that was when the Power Rangers came out. Now, I didn't tell anybody that I watched the Power Rangers. I mean, honestly, I was 14 years old watching the Power Rangers and uh, yeah, I didn't want to tell my friends uh, because they wouldn't think I was cool anymore. Let me tell you, I was really, really cool back in those days. I, I was too cool for school. Matter of fact, I was so cool that I didn't go to school, which is why I live in a van now. So, in that year, 1993, you had the television show, The Power Rangers. Now, The Power Rangers, you know, I was watching and I was a fan of it, but when the Green Ranger came to town, when he came to Angel Grove High, all bets were off. Jason David Frank played the character Tommy Oliver on the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And he has played uh, different Rangers as uh, different incarnations of the television program have been made. Uh, he was the White Ranger, he was the Black Ranger, he was the Red Ranger. And by that time I had, you know, turned 15, 16, 17. So I basically had stopped watching television altogether around that time. But uh, for me, anyways, personally, he will always be known as the Green Ranger. Uh, I remember watching that television show. I remember when he first came by. Now, a lot of you guys are old enough to remember the summer uh, when uh, the whole Who Shot JR was on television, right? Well, that season of the Power Rangers, that was my Who Shot JR. You had this guy, Tommy, come into Angel Grove High School, and this guy was a bad age you know what i'm saying the martial arts guy everyone at the school on the tv show is looking at him punching and kicking and doing all these flips and stuff like that and these guys are you know looking at him a couple of the other power rangers were a little bit jealous huh red ranger anybody huh i ever wonder whatever happened to those uh irs problems that uh that one guy that played the red power ranger uh, has or is currently going through right now anyways so Tommy who played you know the character played by Jason uh, was this evil uh, green Power Ranger who had immense powers way more powerful than all the other Power Rangers combined and he was under the power of uh, Rita I think her name was Rita Repulsar does anybody remember when the Green Ranger broke into uh, Zordon's uh, the computer room and started messing everything up? And I was like, what are you doing? I think I might have yelled that at the screen. Uh, times like that um, in my life, you know, spent a lot watching television have kind of shaped me into being the man that I am today. And, uh, you know, Jason David Frank, who played the Green Ranger, uh, is no exception. Uh, I loved that television show as a kid, even though I, you know, I was only around for it for a couple of the seasons. Uh, he had a small but very impactful uh, impact uh, in my life. Just you know, watching him being entertained, you know, admiring this guy, good-looking guy comes to uh, Angel Grove High School, and all the chicks, you know, think he's cute, very good-looking guy. Uh, Jason uh, was a practicer of uh, many different martial arts, uh, taekwondo, uh, judo, uh, karate. I want to say he's an eighth degree black belt in karate and I believe he has his own uh, style of karate. The name escapes me. He has uh, 
I think he owns like four different karate schools, uh, three here in Texas, one in somewhere in Southern California. And uh, all I know from Jason was that he was the Green Ranger. And also I remember hearing that he had stepped into the world of mixed martial arts. Uh, his record as an amateur was 4-0 and he had one professional fight where he won that fight. Uh, he was supposed to sign with Strike Force at the time, but I don't know what happened with that. That would have been awesome to see Jason fight like, you know, other celebrities in MMA or him just enter Strike Force and, you know, really see what a real life TV star could do in the mixed martial arts world. Uh, very, very successful guy. Uh, you know, in business and in life, owning those four schools. Uh, he had a nice house here in uh, in uh, the Houston area of Texas. And, uh, you know, still making a, a, a decent living uh, doing appearances as, you know, the Green Ranger going, you know, different comic cons and stuff like that. I mean, this guy took an opportunity that was given to him uh, by playing the Green Ranger and originally the Green Ranger it was only supposed to be for one season but that character I mean truly an iconic character was so popular that you know they wrote him in as I believe they turned him into the White Ranger uh, originally and I didn't know this until I was kind of reading up about uh, Jason that he was supposed to be on that television show VR Troopers does anybody remember that TV show? VR Troopers 3, Virtual Reality Troopers, something go, something like that. I watched VR Troopers 2. Uh, it's kind of like a poor man's version of uh, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Uh, I think the VR Troopers were to the Power Rangers uh, what GoBots is to Transformers. Uh, no offense to anybody watching this video, but the GoBots, uh, they can't even hold the uh, robotic jock straps of the Transformers. Let's just call it what it is. But again, because the character was so popular, you know, they wrote him in on the show permanently. And then I guess the other guy that might have been supposed to play the Power Ranger got the role as a VR Troopers. And VR Troopers, uh, you know, there was toys. I had VR Trooper toys, you know, being 15 years old, being too, a little too old to be playing with toys. Uh, we don't want to talk about that. Uh, we want to talk about uh, this story right here. And uh, man, let me tell you, uh, when the news hit that he took his life, I mean, that hit me like a ton of bricks. Uh, he was staying at some hotel, probably about 40 miles away from here. And I don't know the real reason why he was staying at the hotel. Um, you know, he lived here in Houston. Uh, maybe him and his uh, second wife uh, wanted to get away from the kids or whatever it is that they're doing. Uh, so they stayed at this hotel. Uh, now, there's different uh, stories of what happened. Uh, you know, I really can't cooperate uh, what's true or what's not true. Um, but they supposedly got into a fight, like a lot of couples do, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, Jason, uh, suffering from uh, bouts of depression, uh, you know, sadly uh, and tragically, uh, you know, took his own life and... I, I think that a lot of people, when they read these stories of these famous people, regardless of if you're really, really famous or kind of famous, I mean, it, 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 it's just like a gut punch, especially if it's people that you've watched as a child, you know, and he wasn't that much older than me. But, it, you know, when you're 14, 13 years old and this guy's 20 years old, man, you, I mean, a 14 year old kid looking at a 20 year old dude that's a man that's a that's a full grown man to us at the time and you know it it, it hurts like to especially a guy like that who you watched as a kid and you know it, it wasn't like it was the black ranger or the blue ranger or the, or, i mean he was so iconic he is the power rangers there is there is no power rangers without the green ranger and you know I, just me thinking about it is, um, ah, you know, I, I hate it when, when things like this happen, when people that, you know, as a kid, they, they, you know, whatever small impact, whatever impact they had on my life. And then they, you know, they got a, you know, a, a, something in their brain that's just not right. And they're just feeling that there's no way out. And then they, you know, they do this and it hurts not only the family, but, you know, and the fans and people who genuinely admired him and, and loved him and cared for him. 
And, uh, you know, I can't put myself in that, in his position. I don't know. But it, it just, it hurts all the same. You know. This is his grave right here. And, uh. This is his, uh, I believe his stepdaughter right here. They just came and put some flowers recently. Terrible. You know, what can he do? Uh, rest in peace to Jason Frank, the greatest uh, Power Ranger ever of all time. And it's not even close. I'm going to be a goober and end the video on this note. Um, videos that I've done in the past touching on this subject of self-harm and what have you. And, uh, you know, I, I think you guys have been with me. You know, the ones have, that have been on my channel for at least a few years have seen, you know, a good portion of my videos. Kind of know that. I tell it the way it is. Um, I don't really pull no punches uh, when it's uh, apt to do so. And none of us are in people's minds when they want to do this. You know what I mean? And it's easy to say, you know, when you have a normal functioning brain... Why would you want to do this to yourself? Why would you want to, first of all, not be alive to be around to enjoy all the good and even enjoy all the bad? Because even though you're, it's, it's the bad, you can still say to yourself, I'm still alive to enjoy this bad day. Um, honestly, is there really any bad days? Yeah, we all have bad days, I guess. But, um, you know, when you look at stories like this and people that... Maybe they just feel that there's no way out of this gray that is inking your brain. It's easy to tell them, you know, there always will be another day. Tomorrow is a new day. I just think it's kind of like a something in their brain that some of them can't fight off to, to ward off those evil spirits. But, I mean, some tragically like Jason, they just some unknown reason or another they just think that it's that that the that they can't go on anymore <sighs> you know videos like this i do not like to do I, I i don't like to you know go to my my childhood heroes and well what are you gonna do all right guys i am out of here i'll catch up with you on the next video be good tomorrow it's always going to be tomorrow. It's always going to be tomorrow.